Putin. Let's focus now on what is happening with the sanctions story. The U.S. ramping up pressure on Putin. Let's focus now on what is happening with the sanctions story. The U.S. ramping up pressure on Putin. Uh, the latest moves coming out of D.C. imposing sanctions on his two adult daughters. The Russian foreign minister's wife, uh, Sergei Lavrov's wife uh, and daughter, have also been added to the sanctions list. Within the last few minutes as well, the U.K. is announcing, announcing asset freezes on Spare Bank and Credit Bank uh, of Moscow. So we're getting more headlines coming through there. And the Estonian prime minister is calling for hard-hitting energy sanctions on Russia, saying that Ukraine will not win the war with inadequate sanctions. Joining us now, Katerina Wolchuk, uh, an associate fellow at Chatham House uh, in the Russia and Eurasia program. Is the Estonian Prime Minister right? Are we not doing enough yet? Do we need to see more? Why not, in the words of Giva Hofstadt today in the European Parliament, why not do it all now? This is very hard, and we are seeing a lot. Um, we are seeing what is actually the unprecedented sanctions. Russia used to be the 11th largest economy in the world. And what we see, such a large economy has never been hit by such sanctions. Having said that, what the West now really reckons with is the fact that we have very extensive interdependence with Russia, with Russian sort of financial institutions, with Russian banks, but specifically energy as well. Yeah. And the long-standing dependence now is something that the EU in particular, but especially countries like Germany and Austria, have to really undo very quickly, and that cannot be done overnight. Well, so, Katerina, obviously there's great economic pressure that has to be considered here. At what point will political pressure from other allies outweigh that? Yes, we can see already, even before the sanctions have been finalized, we can see already a lot of critique that they are not strong enough. We